Hey friend, this is a video I put together a few weeks ago when I was preparing for an art show in Half Moon Bay, California. I am taking a canvas, which is a half inch canvas, and I'm putting it in a floating frame. I share with you my steps that I took, but I also share with you all of the frustrations that I had with trying to get that canvas in there just right. I hope you find some value in this video. All right, let's do this. I ordered these from, let me think, who did I order them from? These are the floating frames. Um, oh, Jerry's. Jerry's Artorama. So, all right, and that's what they look like. I got the natural wood uh, so that uh, the artwork stands out. I didn't want to use black because I felt like black would be uh, way too dark. So um, I'm really liking this natural colored frames. Um, and these are. Uh, 7 eighths inch deep which means that it should work and I've got a piece right back here so we're going to put one in so let's get it opened up and I got two of these because I have two that need to be framed all right so So uh, it's an ampersand floater frame, and inside, which is nice, it comes with the wire for it, it comes with some blocks. So what I'll do is I will put this together when I'm ready to put the artwork in the frame and, and finalize it. Still need to put one more coat of paint on that, I'm, excuse me, not paint, one more coat of varnish. Um, so it comes with instructions. So I will check this out and hopefully it's easy to do. So I will videotape that. And let's take my artwork here. So this is one that I varnished yesterday with just one layer of varnish on it. Okay, so the plan is that it goes right in here. Hold on, there we go. Oh, fits nicely. All right, so there is a little bit of a gap here and that just simply means that I'm gonna center it so that it's even on both sides but doesn't that look fantastic I love it love 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 I, I just feel like it really um, lets the artwork stand out so much more um, when I've got you know these quarter inch on the side pieces so I'm super happy with this looking good all right, I will put a link down below so that you can check out the ones um, that I ordered. All right, onward. Let's do some other stuff now. I'm going to drop these into the floating frames and get them placed just right. And now you can see here we have holes for screws but we know it's not this back side because this back side has the sunken holes so that the heads are flat against here. So this is the side that I'm going to put the screws into. So therefore this is the side that the artwork needs to go into. And so we're going to kind of center it because there was a little gap between here and here but not from here to here. And that looks good like that. Now I want to make sure it's not going to move. This is going to be a challenge. So the question is, how am I going to do this? I need to put something underneath to make sure that my artwork is going to stay attached. Okay, let's do this. Let's line it up again because it's already shifted. I want to get it right the first time and not have to redo it. So let's do that. Okay. That is lined up properly. So I'm going to grab my pencil and I'm going to mark it on the back side. So 
this is where I could use a studio assistant. Okay, let's see how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna hold it on my hip here. I'm just gonna mark the side right here so that I know how to line it up without looking at the front. Let me hold this side, kind of hold it, mark up that. Now yeah, let's put it, flip it back around, make sure it looks good, and it does. All right, so now I have a little bit of a gap here, and that's why it's not laying flat. So I need to put something here. What if I put the other canvas here, like this? It's gonna to be too high, but too high is better than too low. Let's flip that over. And, oh, that's gonna work. Okay, and it's still lined up right where I have my lines, so that's great. Here is all the stuff that it came with, including instructions that I should probably read, right? And it comes with these blocks. All right, I guess I should be reading how to use all this, right? I have this habit of just going for it. Showing that these can be used as spacers to ensure that my artwork is centered properly. And it comes with screws and the wiring to wire it up. All right. Okay, so we're going to go with these screws and put them in. in. Feels good. Next. Okay. I'm being careful not to drill these in too fast. I can definitely feel it tightening and the canvas pulling upward towards the screw. how that looks. All right, and there we have it. And it is not perfectly centered. Okay, so I'm going to redo it because I'm not happy with that. Even though my lines are here and here, it is slightly more over here than it is over here. So that means I need to take out all the screws and adjust a little bit. So I'm going to adjust it this way. So let's take them out. I gotta look at it again. that again now that I have those in gently flip it over it looks the same like I had before oh I can see the hole is just slightly off so it's gonna be interesting if I'm gonna be able to get that new make a new hole next to the other one and that just fell down get the other ones in. It actually worked. Okay, move this one. Okay, 
take these out now. All right, so I'm still seeing a slightly larger gap here than here, but it's slight, so we're gonna have to call it good because I'm not gonna be able to redo it again. So it's, it's so slight, it's probably like a 16th of an inch but I am so anal about this kind of stuff that I notice it. But we're good. All right, so then signature is down here. I'm gonna flip it over like this and I'm gonna get this wired up. So interesting, it comes with the um, eye hooks. I hate eye hooks. I just do not care to use them. Um, yeah, in the picture it shows to do it Interesting, all the way down here, which is really hard. Okay, so when it's all the way down here, for me, I find it really hard to grab that wire and get it up on the nail on the wall. So I much prefer to do something out here, but maybe they don't want me drilling into this part. Huh. All right, I'm not gonna use those, I'm gonna use my own. Whoops. So. See, I'm going to actually use the other ones. Um, let me use these guys. I like these because they've got larger nail heads, or larger screws, I should say. All right. So, need to measure. I'm trying to decide now, what am I going to do? Well, I can't put it over here. I'd have to put it all the way back here. So I'm gonna put it here, which I really think that's kind of hard. I'm gonna leave some slack on the wire so that it's easier to get it up on the wall. Yeah. I would like to do it up here. I just don't know what to do, to be honest with you. Let's measure it out. So this is 24, 21, 21 and a half. So I'm gonna go about four inches, maybe four and a half. All right, so that's right there. And four and a half, right there. All right, I'm gonna do the lower one because that's what it says in the instructions. Not much room to hold my screw here. A little awkward. I'm trying to press down. This might be a situation where I should probably pre-drill and I think that's what they're showing in the picture because this is a harder wood, but let's see if I can get it going. All right, I can get it. Yeah, I got it, but the um, I could have split the wood Luckily, it did not. So that's one thing that uh, pre-drilling helps with is not splitting the wood. So I'm gonna go grab my um, drill bits and I'm gonna drill this side. I just don't wanna take a chance of it splitting. All right, so I really don't need anything too large. Um, don't want it to be too, this is good. So let's go with this one. Let's see how far. Let's do that here. Am I going the wrong way? No. That's reverse. Wow, this wood is pretty hard. There we go. Okay, grab my screw. All right, no 
noisy. Man, that is on there good. Okay, so we've got that um, put on. Let me grab my wire. Um, this one comes with wire. Oh, and you know what? It's coated. Huh. I'm going to use this wire since it's, it is a coated wire. Okay. And it's a thinner wire than I have, but most of these will hold up to, like I said, 50, 60, 75 pounds, even though they look very thin. So I'm going to do this. And you could double wire it too. I've done that before. Let's get this one cut. enough slack there that's pretty tight I mean I could barely see it come over the top of this so all right there we go wired up nails are in and there it is looking pretty and the thing to be careful about when you are working with wood is it can dent easily so I will have corners on this to protect it while it's in transport um, going to the show. And also, of course, when I'm shipping it, you know, I'm being really careful to um, protect the corners really well and all the way around. So it looks beautiful, but it's much more fragile than just having a canvas. All right, I'm gonna wire up that other one now. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did and if you got some value out of it please give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you're notified of future videos please leave a comment below if you've got a source for floating frames that you have really enjoyed using um, i think it's great when we can share that kind of information in our community here and I will be also sharing a link to Jerry's Artorama where I purchased my floating frames. Okay, as usual, I love to hear from you. So leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to respond. Super happy that you were here. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in a future video too. All right, wishing you a super fabulous and creative day. Take care.